Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Ace Attorney Apollo Justice Remaster for the PS5. My name is Afat Esper, this is Story Base Gaming Channel and today, well, that trial seven years ago was the beginning of it all. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. This I know beyond a doubt. The mysteries of the past work their magic on the present. But you'll soon be finding all this out for yourself. Which of Magnify Grammarie's disciples pulled that trigger? Where did the Venetian independent Zach Grammarie go? What dark truth lurks behind the Forge Diary page? And what about the girl who was left behind? Mason System? What is this? EHG Studios? The past left us these four keys unlocking the truth. Oh, I remember this! Uh, this was the thing that was in the, um... The, the, the first thing in this case, it, like there were so many images that flashed by, but this was one of them. What is this? But that's not all. There are four keys in the present as well. What is this? Zero escape? And when all the questions have found their answers, the final trial will begin. But first, you must chase the truth through then and now. Think of it as a game. I, Phoenix Wright, will be your guide through this game. That's kind of meta. The terrible trial saw me present forged evidence. It ended, half finished, when the defendant vanished. What became of me after that trial? As your investigation proceeds, the answer will become clear. Oh, and one more thing. There is something I must tell you. As Apollo Justice has his bracelet, so too do I have my own weapon of sorts. You saw the, the Magatama thingy? Yes, here it is. My Magatama. What does it do, you ask? I know exactly what that does. Breaks locks. That I would have you see for yourself. Well now. Shall we begin? Would you like to play a game? <laughs> I just need him to say that. <laughs> oh, that would be great. Use L1 and R1 to jump between the past and present. But let's begin seven years ago in the past. That's what I was thinking. It is right after my last trial came to an abrupt end. Now that you know the game, let's play. Let's play Apollo Justice. All right. Ooh, 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 what's all this? Okay, what do you want to start? Uh, I guess the detention center. Just go down the list. Seems more, seems like the correct thing to do. The nightmare trial was over. And new nightmare of figuring out what had happened had just begun. I wanted to wake up to walk away. But I figured I'm the only one who could do this. Probably. And besides, I had plenty of time. Thanks to the Bar Association Review Board's decision. It's hard to work when your attorney's badge has been taken away. Seven years ago, detention center, visitor's room. What should you say, doth mine eyes behold? Excuse me. Two men on either side of a single transparent pane. Yet, it is fake of fate as reside, so to speak. The forger of fakes walks freely, while the innocent languishes within these flexigus confines. There's been no proof that I forged anything. No proof that I took the life of my dear mentor. 
Oh, the dots. Yet, these chains cannot hold me for long. The stage awaits. And what, may I ask, awaits you? A little piano and a cold little hole in the wall. Aww. But, since you are here, what shall we discuss? The shooting of magnified grammarly, for one. Who pulled that trigger? Ballot or his partner, Zack? His partner vanished before the answer could be found. If I'm going to get any closer to the truth, this is the place to start. What is this? Oh, an inquiry. Cool. Uh... Okay, so we have all this stuff that we have before. With no attorney's bad. Mr. Valent, could you look at this for me, please? Hmm, yes, I accept your challenge. Well... Challenge? Huh? You want me to make it float, disappear, or shall I simply eat it? Uh, I didn't come here to play games, Mr. Valent, or watch you do tricks. So I have a feeling that all of this evidence is going to be for naught. But yet, you know, it's what I do. It's absolutely what I do. So, while I'm clicking through evidence, I have a chance to talk about the future of the visual novels here on the channel. Uh, first off, I have forgot about Homestuck. I was going to play Homestuck after Inescapable. Um, Inescapable, just... Uh, it, it's, um, it's lasting a, bit, a little bit longer than I thought, which is fine, because I'm really enjoying it. But I just want you to know that, yeah, I'm going to play Homestuck as the third rotations of games. Uh, because after I get done with Apollo Justice, I want to dive into the first Professor Layton game. And the idea is I want to play Ace Attorney, Apollo Justice, Professor Layton, Ace Attorney, Layton, Ace Attorney, Layton, and then do the crossover. And then once I'm done with the crossover, I wanted to play the, uh, the, the great... Detective Chronicles, whatever it's called. Um, uh, the other Ace Attorney games. So, you know, I'll probably be playing Homestuck after I beat an RPG or after I beat a point and click or horror game and keep it in that slot to clear up this slot to get through how many games? Five, six, seven, eight more games that I have um, scheduled? Yeah, it's a lot. Smile, you're on candid camera. Just had to say it. Old habits die hard. <laughs> Maybe I should do a few tricks for the viewers at home. That guard keeps stealing glances in this direction and scratching his head. Maybe our visit magician showed him a trick or two. So yeah, after we finish Apollo Justice, like I said, I'm gonna look into playing the Lightning series. Uh, the Faithful Trap. I had to hand it to my partner. He knows how to make an exit. That's talent. Yes, he made my attorney's badge disappear, and he never even touched it. Ooh. Ooh. Glory Spotlight always leaves someone weeping in the shadows. Yet his very disappearance is itself a revelation. Revealing what? Zach Grimory killed Magnify. It's as good as a psychic confession. That's certainly been public opinion's take on it. I grow tired of my cage, and the time of my release is near. I must go and prepare. Planning on jumping back into the magic ring right away. As long as an audience awaits with waiting breath, there will be a valent and also. Yes. Now that my partner has disappeared, Magnify's repertoire is mine. Valent Grammarie has a tradition of bold. Is that true? Seen in this light, the trial was quite good to me, verdict or no. And you can't pay for that kind of publicity. Blackmail. The suspicion on you hasn't lifted entirely, Valent. After all, you received one of those letters, too. You were just as obligated to follow Magnify's instruction as your partner. So I was. But only Zach, Grimory, followed them. Let's not speak any more of who shot what. Now that my partner has vanished, the question is moot. 
I'm more interested in learning something else, actually. What might that be? I want to know what Magnify had up his sleeve. How could he coerce you and your partner to kill him? The trick of his sleeve. Ah ha 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 Perhaps you did not know. Know what? A great magician never reveals the secrets. There's a Magatama. And how many lives? Oh man, yeah, I was, I was expecting this. I didn't think it would be that easy. Nope. The audience must remain forever in the audience. Bathing in the reflected glow of the spotlight. My Magatama. One of my most prized possessions, which I got during a certain case. It can show me the locks on people's hearts. And if I can unlock their hearts, they'll tell me their secrets. The Magatama starts it all. And the Magatama ends it. Okay, can we, um, break it yet? Ooh, we got a more pretty graphical display of the Magatama now. The trick up his sleeve. I'm flying by the seats of my pants on this one. There must be a path leading from the evidence to the truth. And that's what I'm going to find. To ask someone to take a life, even not one long for this world. That's asking someone to quit murder. I'm gonna go ahead and... Ah, I can't drop save. Yes, our mentor was fine. The dramatic moves, the dramatic finales. And he got his wish. His life was taken. What weakness, what weakness would be so powerful as to coerce someone into committing murder? My guess is was a matter of life or death. Care to explain? Your troop lived in a world of showmanship. The flashier the better. And flashy so often means danger, doesn't it? Let us make this as painful as painless as possible. If you have proof for this danger, then show it. Uh, danger. Is it the gun? <laughs> um. Single gun shot the head. Huh. <sighs> Why? That's one of ours. I mean, they said danger. The only thing I can think of is the gun because, again, the movie The Prestige. You know, the bolt catch thing that they do. Specially designed for your show, I gather. A single bullet, one shot. What are you suggesting? We are magicians, Mr. Wright, not murderers. I'm not crying murder, Mr. Valent. I'm crying something far more tragic. An accident. Boom. Zach and Valance, quick draw, shoot him. How long has it been since the shots were last heard? Was the shooting be canceled because someone might get hurt? Of course, what other reason could there be? Well, it could have been canceled because someone had already been hurt. Ah! Fascinating, my frosty and forgy friend! But tell me, what can you prove with a single pistol? Well, tell me what would have happened if there had been an accident. What if one of your bullets took a life on stage? The performance of magic is not concerned with what is. It is concerned with precision. Precisely whom do you claim was shot? Looks like I've chosen the right path. Let's just hope he walks it with me. A life was sacrificed so that the show might go on. And this shows who it was. Um, da -da -da. we only have one thing that this could be, right? A word, if I may. Yes? Does it excite you to know you're saying at a critical moment in your quest? Yeah, it does. Sort of. I got it wrong, didn't I? Then you never make it on the stage. You're not fit to be a magician. Give it up. I hadn't actually been considering that as a career option. I'm sure you'll find something else to while away the time. Like figuring out who that bullet hit. So, I may not have... I may not have all the evidence I need to figure this out. Tonight's ideas in. 
Maybe the last. I'll leave the rest to them. The rest, the first to come soon, the gentleman in here at Megawan, but not long. That depends on his hand. All that's left is mine to lay down this pen. The ripped out page. Now I see that everything has been set up. Also, I would present forged evidence to the court. I don't think I have any evidence of who was shot. I don't think I have the evidence that says who was shot. So I don't think I can go through with this anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm 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 going to go ahead and deplete the bar. Because it's fine. That'll just give me a new bar, but it gives me a chance to. It gives me a chance to make just to make sure that I don't have the evidence. But I don't think I do. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I don't have the evidence. But, as I said, this just gives me a new help bar. Any more of this, somebody's going to give. Time to cool off a bit and rethink what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay, let's in inquiry. Let's head to defendant lobby number two. Seven years ago, district court defendant lobby number two. Didn't think I'd be back here for a while. I didn't want to have to remember that day. Hmm, though I deeply regret having to clear a verdict in this way. The trail is over. Ah, your honor. Yes, Mr. Zek. There is one thing I wish to make clear. Today, in this courtroom, you cannot declare me guilty. What are you talking about? I am talking about this. Mr. Enigma. The defendants escaped. Find him quick. Bailiff closed all the exits in the building. On the devil, he must not be allowed to escape. When I came here on that fateful morning, I still had my badge, but now, like an amputated limb, I could still feel it itching. Where do I start? I don't even have the authority to investigate. Hey, you there, sir! Oh my god, this guy, Meeks? Meekum? What was his name again? I, I remember his name. Danny hands on your head! No, no, no! What's the big idea? My ears! I know this guy. No, otherwise the personnel are delighted here! Uh, but that would mean all unauthorized personnel are allowed. Zoink! I just say it like it is, sir! And it's easily wrong! Oh no, the basic lost my friends, my girl, I need my wallet! Uh, we've met before, haven't we? On a case, two years ago? No recollection to that, sir! Huh? For me, working on a case is always in the place of progressive dead, sir! There is no past! There is only now, sir! Okay, okay. You're the bailiff, right? Yes, sir! Meekins! That's it! I said Meeks. I was close. I was really close. Court bailiff Mike Meekins at your service, sir! Um... I have asked to meet with the bailiff at this court who let the magician escape. Let me try to make this as absolutely clear as possible for you, sir! That was me! Sir! But, but you were a regular police officer once, right? Ha! Ah! Sometimes bad things happen to good people, sir. Aw. Somebody tells me it's a long story. Let's not go there. So, you were in charge of security at the time of the vanishing? I'm dying over here! Oh, oh, it's a hard knock life, sir! Oh, poor guy. Like, seriously, poor guy. Throw it out of the precinct! Lost all my friends! My girl! I even lost my wallet, sir! 
Guess I wasn't the only victim. Let's look around. I don't think I've ever been able to look around the courtroom, have I? I guess this door was officially a prop in Zach Grammery's last show. He passed through that lobby door and vanished, but to where? He choreographed that entire fateful trial according to his grand scenario. Ah, uh, I hate magicians. <laughs> you know, I think this was the lobby I used for my very first case. This plant has seen me grow from a rookie to an ace to a... Has been. I hate you, plant. Just kidding. <laughs> I actually took a nap on that couch once when I was still practicing law. Yeah, I remember that. What was it, uh, 2 1? Was it 2 1? I think it was 2 1. Boy, was that a mistake. I never even sit on the lobby sofas now. I never let my clients sit on them either. It's bad luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was 2 1. I must have seen that painting a thousand times, but never really looked at it until now. I guess my head was too stuck in the trials. I never had time to stop and appreciate art. I have time now. Okay, let's appreciate. <sighs> Actually, it's pretty lame. <laughs> Any thoughts on this, Mr. Meekins? This! This is an honor! Sir, I've offered my opinions on plenty of things, even things I knew nothing about. But no one's ever asked me for my opinion before! Ow, there's no need to shout, really. So, no opinion? None! I know nothing about that, sir! But I thought, ah, uh, never mind. Okay, yeah, I have a feeling that this is gonna be a constant thing. Oh man, I really doubt it's gonna tell me anything at all. Yeah, and I gotta hear that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a cut here and just go through all this evidence because that noise is ah that noise is something. Okay, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, I've gone through all the evidence. Nothing as expected, except just hearing that annoying fog one over and over and over again. Man, Meekins. The last time we met, you were a police officer, right? In fact, you're still wearing your uniform. Sir, I, I wish I'd had to tell you this. But last year, tragedy struck a right star at the precinct. I lost my case files four times in three days. They fired me. That takes real talent, actually. They don't know what they're missing. Actually, they do. They're missing four case files. <laughs> so here I am, sir. Forced to start from square one. I'm lowly bailiff. But your uniform. I, too, took it with me as a souvenir the day I was fired. That can't be legal. So, you were the one who let the magician get away that day. I'm dying over here! Star rises among the court bailers, full of hope, and then tragedy strikes! Is there anything you can tell me about it? About Zach Grammarie's disappearance? Oh, a humanity! That's enough of that, please. Uh, the magician's disappearance. Why, well, yes. I say it was around 2 o'clock p.m. when I heard a commotion in court. I opened the door to see what might be amiss. The door slams open. Slam! Some guy's face is right there in front of me. Face! So, you saw someone suspicious coming your way. Yes! And I made a bailiff of low sailing. I gave him the chase. I chased that silk hat all the way down the hall. Sir! I have a diagram of the court building here. Ah! There's courtroom number seven. That's where I was, sir. All by myself. Here, your friend to call my own. Okay, and which way did Zach Grammary run after bursting through the courtroom door? Oh, look at the hat. Oh, I love it. He went up like this in another corner. Like that. Bam, bam. So I, with no delay, zing, ran after him. When I turned the corner, I saw that magic man run into the defendant lobby. Swiftly, I ran. Following him, I threw myself boldly into the room. Why, I remember like it was right there because it was. Lobby number two, sir. You ran into this room? Hmm, I don't see any place to hide in here. Believe it or not, sir, I didn't believe it. 
Here, in this room, a magician gone, vanished like a puff of smoke. Except there wasn't even a sea smoke. Oh, God, it's impossible. Yes, that, that word. Oh, how many times have I said that word? Even the sound of it caused me indescribable pain. I'm dying. I'm dying to be here. Oh, okay, I won't say it again, I promise. But you have to admit, it's difficult to vanish into thin air. Did you search the lobby? Huh? I searched. Uh, why the pause? Th th there was th 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 nothing here at all, sir! That's right, nothing was here, sir! How can he talk so loud and still be hiding something? The vanishing trick. So Zack was in this room when he vanished? Absolutely, sir! I saw him with my own eyes! That red silk hat, that flowing cape! He went right in here! Right inside this room! Silk hat, cape, well, that's Zack, all right. But sir, look at the room! There's not a single place to hide! Sir, there was nothing I could do but nothing, sir! Huh, what about now? Have any ideas? Sir! Ideas about what exactly, sir, if you don't mind me asking? You've had quite a bit of time since then. Has nothing occurred to you at all? Do you have any idea what trick he might have used to disappear like that? Uh... He has it locked as well. Cyclops, I should have known. Let's see if we can do anything with these locks. The disappearing trick. Okay, Mr. Begins. Wait, I have like no health? Although nobody restores health. Come on, game. Well, I mean, when you, when you like, it's, <sighs> dang it, this is gonna make life a lot harder. Ah, oh, I try to play the system, the system played me. What do you know? Spit it out. Hey, hey, hey oh, what's with the atmosphere in here all of a sudden? You know something, and I'm going to find out what. Zach Grammary vanished from this room. How did he do it? Oh, sir! Well, sir, I can't see his eyes, sir! Why are you so nervous if you aren't hiding something? Well, sir, I you see at the time, sir, I was here and, uh... Listen, it was impossible! What could such a little girl possibly do anyway? Oh... What did you just say? Eric, sir, did I, I just say something, sir? No, you screamed it through the megaphone of yours. There was someone else in the room, wasn't there? Sir, I'm going to have to and look for my domain and say they're not talking, sir. It's okay, Meekins. You don't have to tell me who Zack's accomplice was. I knew it was here in this room that day. Take that. Sir, I, sir, I, sir, I, sir, I, sir, I, sir, I, I've never seen a girl until just the other day. Uh, Mr. Meekins, I'm not buying it. Sir, that day, she was here in the room, sir. But he wasn't. You mean you chased her into this room, not him? Sir, in my days of the place, also literally days I learned a thing or two. Okay, just one thing, but it was just not how to mistake a girl for a seven foot tall magician. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Seven feet? Zach isn't that tall, is he? You have a point. I wonder if she already knows how to do Mr. Hat. I find it hard to imagine that anyone would mistake a little girl for Zach Grammary. But you saw something. And therein lies the trick. I think you know what it was, Mr. Meekins. Tell me, does this trick look familiar? I don't, I don't think I have the evidence. I don't think I have the evidence. I don't have it. I may not have enough evidence right now to pull this off. Maybe it's time to do a little more legwork. Alright, right on coming losses. 
Oh, hey, look, we're back in the original office. Seven years ago, right in company law offices. Oh, morning, Daddy. Ah, I'm glad you came. Uh, you okay, Daddy? They pick it on you? Ha 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 I'm fine, as always. This old boy is here to help me after all. That's young man to you. Good morning. That's a cute outfit you have on. Thanks! My first shows today, after all. Two weeks had passed since then. I called her into my office. Aww. Aww, poor girl. It's gotta be, I mean, that's, that's... God, it's gotta be rough. Oh. Trucy, there's something we need to talk about. Ah. It's been two weeks since your father disappeared. We need to start thinking about your future. Ah. I, um, did some calling around. This is hard to say, but... You have no living relatives. Ah. So, I was wondering if you want to stay with me for a while. Is that Mia in the background, by the way? No, that's... That's Maya in the background, isn't it? It's one of the two. Just until your daddy comes home. It won't be long. I hope. Uh, of course. It's totally your choice. If you don't like it here, you can go wherever you like. I could look up some places you might like to stay at. This is so weird. Mr. Attorney, daddy told me about you. He said I could trust you. Huh? Really? So, um, if I stay here, does that mean you'll be my family? Huh? Uh, um, I guess so? Getting weirder. Um, Mr. Attorney? Er, uh, actually, why don't you call me Nick? Or you can call me Daddy if you'd like. Doesn't have to be today or anything. Wow, that got really weird fast. Okay, say daddy. Jeez, you just took like that. I have adopted family members. That 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 never happens like that. That was quick. Yes? Uh, if I move in here, I had to switch schools, right? And I was thinking, I haven't paid for my lunches at my last school for like a year. So thanks, daddy. Ah. Uh. God, I'm so screwed with money now. Oh, and this office? It's a little blah. A little color goes a long way, you know. Ah. Uh. Oh, and uh, Daddy? You got fired from work, right? Don't you worry one bit. I'll work twice as hard. We'll make it through this. Trucy, how old are you? Oh, I'm eight. I thought she was seven. But don't let appearances deceive you. I'm a young professional. Stick with me and you'll do just fine, Daddy. Uh, thanks. Why does it feel like she's already in charge? I want to take a look at this poster. An old movie poster hangs on the wall. Oh, okay, it's a movie poster. It's not mine then. I finally found out the title after not knowing for the longest time. I actually went to the movie the other day. Cried my eyes out. Huh. Thinking about it makes me tear up. Wait, it's just allergies, really. I should show it to her when she's a little older. Uh, wait, wait, what was it called again? Huh? Oh, <laughs> we already forgot. You can still see that hotel from the window here. Hey, I remember the hotel. Every time I look out, I think back on those old cases. I wonder if the view looks different now that I'm not wearing my old badge. I really dig the far out view, Daddy. Thanks. She must have learned a lot of words from her parents. Hi, Charlie. My mentor's favorite plant, Charlie. I guess watering Charlie's is my only real job now. <sighs> Wait, I have a child now. I 
can't feed Trucy like this. She probably needs more than occasional watering too, I'm guessing. Uh-huh. Yeah, probably needs more than occasional watering. My desk. Not that I have any reason to sit there anymore. I guess Trucy can use it. It's great for studying math, English, geography, magic. Ah! I'm not crying. I just got some dust in my eye. Huh? Quite the collection of law books. My mentor bought all of them. I used to be too busy to read them. Now that I had the time to read them, there's no need. But I can't just sell them. Maybe Trucy will want to read them someday. Huh? Nah. <laughs> I don't even see any reason to present it with evidence, but I'm going to anyway. Hey, Trucy, see this? I'm sorry. Huh? I'm still just training to be a magician. I can't make things disappear yet. What? Wait, one more year. I'll be able to make it disappear then. I'll be sure to be careful when showing evidence magicians in the future. Yeah. Alright, so uh, let's scroll through the evidence. See if anything... I, I really doubt anything's gonna come up. At least this one doesn't have an annoying microphone, megaphone run. Like, non-stop. That noise was the worst. I'm trying to remember where I met Meekins at. I know he's a police officer in one case. Uh, it can't be 2 1 again, can it? Um, 2 1 was. No, it's not 2 1. I'm pretty sure it wasn't 2 1. So, which one was Meekins in? Ah, uh, that one's gonna bug me. Yeah, let me know when, which case Meekins is in. No, this, this community is awesome with knowing stuff like that. I could probably look it up. But now I'm afraid to look up spoilers. <laughs> I'm just really surprised I remember sort of his name. Alright, uh, talk. The office. So, Daddy, you got fired for being a lawyer, right? You could at least kind of look aside or something when you say that. It's actually kind of hard for me, for Daddy. Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. Wait, is that foolish pride? My other Daddy always used to talk about that. Um, actually, that's pretty accurate. So, here's my idea. We'll make a new office. Aw, she is like so gonna home about this. I, I, she, she's, um, she's handling this a lot better than, than anyone probably expected. Law just seems so stiff, doesn't it? And no one will be my friend at school this way. Aw, well that won't do, I guess. I just don't know much about anything other than law. Or even much about law, if you would ask some people. Maybe the problem is calling it an office. We should run an agency instead. You mean like a talent agency? Forgive me for asking, but does that require talent? You got me, don't ya? I I'm a professional. A professional? Yep. After all, I am directly descended from the famous Zach Grammary. Directly descended? He's your father. Oh, and now I'm directly descended from the famous Phoenix Wright, too. I think an eight-year-old just massaged my ego. Could you tell me a little bit more about your daddy, or Zach Grammary? Daddy? Sure thing, daddy. Which daddy was that again? Daddy's so amazing. The biggest star of true Grammary, and they're big. The Grammaries. They were on television a lot. I haven't seen them on much recently, come to think of it. Big magic happens when you put Zack and Valent Grimory together, you know. Once they made a giant waterfall right there on the stage. And this giant trout swam up the giant waterfall. Wow, that seems awesome. Let me guess, there was a giant fisherman waiting for him at the top. I wish I could have seen more of Daddy's magic. Oh, Ah, shouldn't have brought it up so soon. I wonder what will happen to me with Daddy and Mommy both gone. Mommy? Yeah. What about mommy? I haven't heard anything about Trucy's mother. But I have my magic and a great daddy, even if he is unemployed. You know, I think these things are gonna be okay. Aww. She's such a sweetheart. She really, really is a sweetheart. I wonder if she'll talk about her mother. Hmm. 
talk about the professional first. So, Trucy, you're a professional? Yes, um, it's like that thing they say. Baby fox grow up to be fox. They say that? I always thought it was funny, though. What was? Uh, aren't baby fox called tadpoles? Maybe they thought it would be easier to understand that way for kids. How stupid. Uh, right. So, in conclusion, you're a professional magician, Trucy. That's right. Well, well, want to see a trick? You're going to do a magic trick? Please show me. Actually, I would like to see your trick. The future of the agency depends on after all. Is this Mr. Hat? That's the spirit. Ready? Here it goes. Ta-da! It's Mr. Hat! Aww. Look at her smile, too. Man, she is adorable. Hey, folks, it's Mr. Hat. I gotta say, it's gonna be soon. Yarg! Whoa, that was startling. The amazing Mr. Hat, isn't he great? Your friendly neighborhood, Mr. Hat, at your service! He certainly makes an impression. Doesn't he? Ha ha ha, I'm so glad you like him, Daddy. Oh, my routines are getting a bit hardy at times. Hi, hey, you get it, hardy? Uh, my friendly neighborhood, Mr. Hat, nearly <laughs> gave me a heart attack. The maze Miss Hat, that was the piece of evidence I needed. Trucy's favorite trick, startlingly realistic. Mommy. Could you tell me about, about your mommy, if it's okay? Mommy was so pretty. She was like an angel up on stage. On stage? You mean with your daddy? Yep. She was always there with Zack and Valet smiling. But then she went away. Oh. She's the one who got shot, isn't she? Went away? It was a grand illusion. But she made a mistake. She vanished, and I guess she didn't know how to get back. Maybe so. I cried then a lot. That's when Daddy gave me this. Here. This is your mother? She's beautiful. That's not... Okay, maybe I'm seeing too much into this. Oh, can't be. That can't be. I I need to I need to. Oh, hold on. I need to watch a um. I, I need to watch a previous one of my videos. Um, which one? Um. It doesn't matter which one. Hold on. It doesn't matter which specific video I watch. It just matters that I get a picture. I mean, it's not an exact match, but it sure as heck looks like a good match. Her hair, how her hair, her, her hair like curls in the front. You see how it like curls in the front there? And her eyes and her hair is basically the same color. This one's braided, but it's the same. Can't tell if she has earrings or not. But that looks exactly like Lamer War. And that was the first thing that popped in my head is that's Lamer War. If you're wondering, I'm watching, um, I think it's like part 16, Simon Saw is what I call this episode. Um, it's a picture of her on trial and I can see her fully. But that looks exactly like Lamer War. Um... But we never put that together in the previous case? Could that really be her, though? I mean... Lemuel did have amnesia. And because she had amnesia, she might... And she knew... She, she called upon Valent for the illusion. But Valent didn't seem to recognize her. And surely Valent would have recognized her, right? I mean, she has changed a lot. And it has been, what, seven years since she came over? 
even further. Maybe it's been like eight or nine or ten years since she disappeared in the Grand Illusion. Hmm. Very interesting game. I was not expecting this curveball. And that's if I'm right. I could be totally wrong. I may be totally seeing more into this than I am. But dang, that looks exactly like Lamoror. Her name's Thalessa. Thalessa Grammarie. I like the name. Poor girl. I didn't know her mommy had gone missing. And now her daddy vanished too, right before her eyes. Hey, daddy, you won't? Don't worry, I won't vanish, I promise. Right, you can't even do magic. You like a backup plan. Daddy always said to have a backup plan. I guess all I mean is, is a backup plan. Trucy's locket added to the court record. I think that's probably enough for today. Sorry to ask you so much all at once. It's okay. After all, we're family. I just hope you're ready. The right talent agency opens tomorrow. What? But, but we are, are... Are we representing anyone? Well, me and you, that makes two, Daddy. I think you need more than that to make an agency. Besides, you may be a magician, but I'm no talent. Oh, I'm sure there's something you're good at. Well, when you put it that way. You mean you don't have any tricks? No old standboys? This will not do. A boy should always have a trick or two in his pocket. Okay, okay, I'll think of something. That's the spirit. See you bright and early tomorrow, Daddy. Welcome to the team, Daddy -o. The team, right. I love Mr. Hat. Mr. Hat's great. Sometimes when magicians vanish, they leave something behind. That's how Trucy became Trucy Wright, my daughter. To be honest, I was pretty lost those first few days. Thinking back on it, it was a pretty dark time in my life. But Trucy, happy, smiling Trucy, she was my light. Maybe that's why he took her in so easily. Because of his despair and he needed something to keep going because he feel like he's lost everything. Where the heck is Maya at? That's what I want to know. Did they just write her out of the story? Alright, we got the lock here. We can, I feel confident, unlock this now. Unless there's a third thing that we have to present. But we know... We know of the, the, the thing now to use on the second lock. The question though is, like I said, is there something else? Because the, the lock doesn't always break with one evidence. Sometimes it takes more than one evidence to break. And now that I have no HP because I'm an absolute idiot, um, I had to play this a little bit safer than before. Alright, come on, accomplice, it's accomplice. It is her. Did the other guy have that, like, that same emotion, that same, like, expression? Um... Here lies the trick. What's that? Well, no, 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 that girl's favorite trick, the amazing Mr. Hat. She uses it in her show down at the Wonder Bar. Uh, have you been to the Wonder Bar? It wasn't a waking dream, was it, sir? Could come again. That night on stage, I saw a vision, except it wasn't a vision. It was a hat. An amazing Mr. Hat, he really exists. Yep, that unlocked it. Unlocked successful. Hey, I got some life back. How about that? The vanishing trick. I remember clearly, but the details are a little vague. Zach Grammary exited the courtroom. I gave chase and cornered him in the corner room, sir! Zach Grammary! Don't even think you can escape me, kids! Down in your hands, floor in your head! <laughs> Hello? Uh, something the matter, mister? Uh, no, that is... Sir, I I'm currently chasing a suspect, sir! 
Zach Grimmery. Do you know him? Oh, I love Zach Grimmery. His magic is the best. I'm his biggest fan. I see. Well, that's why you're wearing that costume you're wearing. Anyway, a very same Zach came into this room. But no one's been in here except me. Boo Booty has to be in here somewhere. Under the sofa, in the trash can, behind the painting, under the rug. Behind the painting? So, Trucy was his accomplice. Imagine my sad surprise when one week later, I just happened to walk into a bar and see him. Mr. Hat. I couldn't believe my own eyes. For a while, thought it had all been a long dream. A dream that lasted a week? But it wasn't the magician who disappeared. It was Mr. Hat. <laughs> the trick vanishes. No, it seems complex. What really happened that day was quite simple. You were standing by the door and out came Zack. But that wasn't all. Another person got in on the act and she was standing in front of lobby number two. The little hat, aww. Along with Mr. Hat. And that's the beauty of it, isn't it? So, while you are standing in shock and amazement, the magician rounds the corner and most likely runs through the closest door into lobby number one. This is when you come in. You turn the corner in rather lukewarm pursuit. And at that very moment, Trucy runs into lobby number two. So use the double. How about that? The simplest magic trick. Then all she has to do is tuck away the amazing Mr. Hat. Brilliant. So simple, but brilliant. That's that's what a lot of magic is. It's really simple stuff that just looks amazing. That's what makes magicians so cool. They can make the simple things amazing. Sir, I... I only lost sight of him for the bravest of moments. Well, then I saw that cape. Zach Grimmer used a cape. Flannery on the cape. Ah. Astounding, sir. All my days of posing queries and making inquiries and chasing queries is wasted. It was as if I could see the melting my like out. An ice cream cone left by the side of the road to die. Well, the scattered remains of a messily eaten chocolate buffet. Such sweet sorrows. I am sorry. I had no idea how much you'd suffer on account of this case. It! It's an honor, sir. I've apologized to people many, many times, sometimes more than once. But this is the first time anyone's ever apologized to me! Actually, about that girl. I'm sort of her guardian now. Is that so? Huh? Huh? Sir, you should know that I harbor no ill feelings for like whatsoever in my harbor. Um, okay? I let the defendant escape. That's the so-called truth. Just another step on my way from singing the blues to wearing the blues. Someday, sir, I'll be standing up as I with the great detective come show. Er, uh, Mr. Meekins. This is a free ticket to the show at the Wonder Bar. If you want. It, um... It's not it, sir! Sir, I can't count the number of things I've had taken from me, sir! But no one's ever given me anything for free! Right! I'll see you in court next time then, sir! I look forward to it. I should lock that one. All eyes were on Zach Grimmery that day in the court until his mysterious disappearance. Now part of the mystery has been revealed, but the magician remained out of sight. It would be seven years before I meet him again. So we do meet Zach Grimmery again. Okay, I'm not going to the detention center yet because I think there's probably... The Borscht Bowl Club. Okay, um... I, I think there's probably more in uh, Drew Studio to unlock uh, the detention center. Seven years ago, Drew Studio. I figured you'd come here sooner or later. I decided on sooner, Drew Misham, was it? Uh, I haven't done anything illegal. And I didn't come here to whine about past events. I wanted to ask you some questions. I suppose you have that, right? That day, 
the entire court to send it into chaos. Only you stood still, your eyes calmly watching. I admit, I made quite an impression on me. I'm used to finding myself in outrageous situations. Verdict's right, was it? I'll utter what I can. I'm not sure, but feels like I'm being watched intensely. Aww. Yeah. Oh, this is my daughter, Farrah. Say hello. Hasn't changed much. She's gone. Shall we begin, then? Ah, let me look around first. Ah, oh, going home, by any chance? Uh, uh, no. I was just checking out the door. Oh. Good thing I'm far too stubborn to take hints like that. <laughs> What's this painting here? Ah, oh, that's one of mine. It's an illustration for a book. It's not on sale yet, of course, but I thought it might be good business. As a father, I'd like to be able to put food on my daughter's table. Hmm, not a feeling I know anything about. Well, at least not yet. Paints are scattered all around. Probably the ones he's currently using. There's something very artistic about a messy room. Not that this is anything compared to my office. Huh. I guess that would make my office a masterpiece. Maybe I'll just sidle on over here for a closer look. Red envelope. This is you and Vera? Oh yes, yes. We took that one quite recently. I know, I'm a painter. Why not paint a portrait instead? I've never been that good at people, unfortunately. Ah, uh, right. Shouldn't you practice? That's an awfully small frame. What's that inside it? A stamp? Oh, please don't touch that. I'll get in trouble. Huh? That stamp belongs to Vera, you see. She always puts it somewhere she can see it. Look at this stamp. It's an incredible picture. Dang, that's a cool picture. Yeah, oh, I, I never noticed it before. I, I can't believe I didn't notice it before. The girl. The, the girl. She does look exactly like Lamar, doesn't she? How did I not see that before? Why did it took me the locket for me to recognize her? Why did I recognize her from this picture? I mean, it was my thumbnail on one of my videos for crying out loud and I totally didn't see it. But what made it so different the second time? I don't know, maybe because the focus was on her? Maybe before I was just looking at the other two, I was like, oh, that's a cool, um, that's, that's a cool picture. I wasn't noticing, like, like, my attention wasn't on her directly. Maybe that was it. That second get valent, the Grammaries, isn't it? The post office issued that commemorative stamp last year. And the Grammaries were at the height of the popularity. Not anymore. Now that one of them has vanished off the face of the earth. Vera went to see one of the shows when she was quite small. She's been a dedicated fan ever since. She watched them every time they come on TV until they aren't. I see. That stamp's quite hard to come by, I hear. I still wonder how she got her hands on it. So, what happened was, we know this is poisoned. Someone set Phoenix up and they want to kill any trace of the setup. So they want to kill Drew or in this case, Vera, not knowing it was Vera. They try to get rid of the witnesses. But who would want to get me fired so bad that they kill for it? That's an awfully small frame. There's a commemorative stamp on the Grammaries inside. What's this red envelope? 
Ah, don't touch that. That's er, uh, it's quite important. The painter's face just changed hues. Guess I better behave. Though it's tempting to just grab it. That's a pretty bottle. Ah, oh, don't touch that, please. I'll get in trouble. Huh? It belongs to Vera, you see. She always puts it somewhere she can see it. She looks at it often. There's a light pink fluid inside. Nail polish, I'm guessing. Who would want to kill to get me fired? There are some finished paint sex. Oh, sorry, I'm going through. I, I'm sorry, I'm distracted now. I'm going through like the list of people in my head who could do it, but um, it could be Morgana. Like, if it's a callback to a past game, it could be a completely new character, like a completely new villain. But uh, Morgana. Um, she would have a debt that she wanted to sell with us. Um. The other guy's dead. Um, the prosecutor. I, he, he, Manfred. Uh, Manfred von Karma is dead, so it's not him. It's not Godot. I mean, like, the most evil person I can think of is Morgana. But it could be a completely new character. That's a problem. I mean, we haven't seen Morgana at all. Um, we haven't seen any of the old characters either. So the question is... That, that's... I mean, that, it's the hair. The hair up front is, like, the dead giveaway. For me, that that hair, it's it's so on point. I mean, it's not her, it's not Vera, it's not Mike. It could be the Magnify, but doubtful, because he's been dead for some years. Uh, it's not true. Maybe Valent wants to kill me. I mean, wants to see me fired. But why would he want to see me fired? Because how would he know that we were taking the cakes, right? Crystal. No. Can't be Crystal. Do you know what a defense attorney I happen to meet? I call him Apollo. It's the first time I think I've seen his picture. Age 15 at the time. Christoph Gavin, incarcerated in this central penitentiary for the murder of Shady Smith. But that was seven years in the future. Like, it can't be Gavin. There's no way. I don't know, I don't have any clues. There are some finished paint stacked here. They don't look all that bad, really. I'll show you one for 50 cent. Huh? That's okay. They look kind of heavy. Oh. Poor guy. Maybe he needs to work on his sales technique a bit. Well, you know, um, a bit. Uh, where they say an artist's life isn't fully appreciated till they're dead. Use these gizmos for painting. They're pretty elaborate. Oh, those. Those aren't for painting, they're for analyzing. Paint composition age of a considerable angle. Tools of the forgery trade, I guess. Paints and pigments are lined up on the shelves with some noticeable gaps. It's embarrassing, but I can't afford all the paints that I want. I insist on buying the ones I use for my own money. I can see how you want to do that, sure. Perhaps you've heard that you can make any color. As long as you have the three primary colors, well, it's a lot. Poor guy. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Um, I'm over an hour. Um, there's a lot going on. I'm, I'm really interested in this, and I like, I, I kind of know what to do. 
um, with with the other uh, investigation. Uh, I don't have all the clues yet, but I'm thinking that the person who was shot may have been her. So this is Tristan's mother, Thalassa. She's pretty. I can picture her on the stage with Zach. Still, she looks like a down-to-earth type too. I guess Trucy takes after her. Yeah, so um, but there's a lot more to be done. Much love to you, my friends. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.